Mr. Speaker, today we are presented with an opportunity to take a giant step toward protecting the unborn. For almost 35 years, restrictions on the use of federal funds for abortion have been enacted separately and have been contained in annually renewed congressional temporary funding restrictions, regulations, and executive orders. Such policies have sought to ensure that American taxpayer does not fund the destruction of innocent human life through abortion. The legislation on the floor today will end the need for numerous separate abortion funding policies, then finally put into place permanent ban on any U.S. government financial support for abortion. Each year the abortion industry has allocated millions of tax dollars to advance its agenda. Last year alone, the Planned Parenthood Federation of America collected more than 360 million taxpayer-funded dollars. Because all money is fungible, we, when taxpayers pay an organization like Planned Parenthood millions of dollars, we cannot help but empower and promote all of that organization's activities. Taxpaying Americans are fed up. They are tired of their hard-earned money being spent on supporting and promoting the abortion industry. Under H.R. 3, federal funds will be prohibited for elective abortion coverage through any program in the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The legislation prevents funding for abortion as a method of family planning overseas, prohibits funding for elective abortion coverage for federal employees, and prevents taxpayer funding abortions in Washington, D.C. Importantly, H.R. 3 would also protect the conscience-driven health care providers from being forced by the government to participate in abortions. The conscience clause is critically needed in order to protect health care providers who do not want to take part in the abortion business. Without it, people could be forced to participate in something they strongly believe to be morally wrong. Faith-based hospitals could lose funding and be forced to close. It's time to end taxpayer-funded abortions. I strongly support this important and needed approach to preserve and promote the sanctity of life, and my time has expired.